guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog so i obviously missed out last week i wasn't really doing anything it was a bit of a boring week so i thought i'm just gonna wait until something interesting is happening and this week um i've got some doctor's appointments and um, i've got this which has arrived i want to talk to you guys about um now obviously this isn't sponsored at all um, this is just something I found myself that I wanted to try out and show you guys and just see how it is together. I literally haven't heard anything about it. I haven't read any reviews. I'm going in completely blind. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. So I really hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to see more from me. And let's go into the video. Na, 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 na. So you probably can see by the title, but um, what we are testing is Green Chef. I'm going to try and lift it up and show you. Oh, there. Which is basically a food subscription delivery service like HelloFresh, which I have tried. I have tried HelloFresh. Um, so it's like that, but it covers a keto diet or a vegan diet or a vegetarian or it's got lots of like dietary healthy food requirements um and so i thought i'd give it a go so first things first some information about it you can only purchase four meals per week for two people now josh isn't eating this so that means i'm gonna have eight meals this week um from this box just for myself um it actually was a 30 percent discount off your first box this is what it should have cost and this is what i paid for it so i did get a discount on it and I think even with a discount, it's still quite pricey considering you only get four dinners for two of you. So I don't think financially it works out, but I do understand a lot of these subscription services um, charge a lot of money anyway. So it's not like this is the only company that's charging a lot. Like I understand they're getting fresh ingredients, they're delivering it to you within a certain time. So their delivery costs are probably quite high. So I do understand that. However, it's just not something that I would happily pay full price for. I don't think it's worth full price, especially if you batch cook and your food costs are cheap generally anyway. Spending on something like this just doesn't make sense. But I think if your food cost is quite high and you're looking to reduce your like food cost, you can basically get four of these boxes, four weeks worth, one with 30% off and the other three with 15% off. Um, so if you're a family who spend a lot of money on food, like a lot, I'm talking like a lot, um, then it probably would be worth it. But for us, four dinners for two of us for like £50 or something or 40 something pound is just way too expensive. But I thought I'd give it a go because I'm keto now and it's the only subscription service that do keto recipes and meals. So I thought I'd try it out. Anyway, let's open it up. So first things first, it's laid out a lot better than um, HelloFresh is. Like the way they've packed the box is actually much better. HelloFresh is kind of all dumped in. It's got like a bag of all of the spices and everything in it. And then it's got a big bag with all the fridge freezer stuff. And then everything else is in like little bags for each meal. Whereas this looks different and I kind of like it. So this is what it looks like. We've got like a little tube thing here with all the spices and mixes and things in it. We've got some veg. We've got our freezer bag and we've got our recipe cards as well. Okay, so let's start with the recipe cards so as i said i got keto meals and they only do four keto meals um which is understandable because they have four meals for the week so they do four keto meals per week but it means that if you are keto you can't actually choose your recipes like you can on hellofresh like hellofresh i think have 20 per week and you can choose five of them but they only have four recipes every week for keto. So you have to have those four. So unfortunately it did mean I had to get fish and I do not like fish, like at all, I do not like fish, but I thought, you know what? I'm gonna give it a go, it's only cod. How bad could it be? <laughs> I'll give it a go and then see, see how it turns out, see if I like it. So I've got four meals here. The first one is pesto turkey steaks. 
Meal two, we've got pesto baked cod with creamed leeks and green beans. That is meal two. Third, we've got Italian inspired mozzarella beef bowl with tomato, red peppers and spinach. Meal three. And then meal four, mozzarella chicken salad with plum tomatoes and a parmesan crumb. So this is my first meal with this keto box. And it says that it's 15 carbs, but I've actually put this through my app that I use to measure my net carbs. And it comes up as 21 grams of carbs. And I omitted the lemon. So if I put the lemon in, it would have been 23, which is my entire allowance of carbs in this one meal. So I would not say that this is keto because... I mean, not many people are going to eat just one meal a day, are they? Like, this is advertised as dinners, like four dinners a week. And it's half the portion as well. So I have taken all the ingredients and halved them all. So, yeah. Not very impressed with this first meal, to be honest. Especially because it says on here 15 carbs. 15 grams of carbs per serving. Two portions of your five a day. And it's actually just over 800 calories, not 534 calories. So, yeah, not impressed so far. Hello. So, today is Thursday. I haven't actually filmed for a while because there hasn't really been anything to film. Um, I was going to do, like, a Green Chef test. But to be honest, I'm just not a fan of it. I don't think I'm going to get it again. So, I showed you that one time. And the reason I feel like this is because... The net carbs are quite high for what my carb goal is. So I am on 23 grams a day of carbs, net carbs. Um, and the recipe cards are one, when I put them into my app, they're all wrong. Like every single nutritional value is different. But also I spoke to someone and they said that it's based on someone who does up to 50 grams a day. So yeah. It's just not super ideal <laughs> for me anyway um but yesterday i had some blood tests so fingers crossed they don't come back clear <laughs> i know that's a really crazy thing to say but i whenever i have blood tests done my bloods are always fine and then it means that i just get dismissed and it's the most annoying thing ever like for anyone who has a chronic illness and has the same situation you'll know what I mean like as soon as your bloods come back normal people are just like what's your problem <laughs> and yeah it's a bit annoying anyway so I'm hoping they don't come back normal so that I'm taken seriously um but yes today I'm off to Featherstone with my father so my dad has actually got a job now which is super exciting news and because of that he is buying a car um but the car is up north so he is going up to get it and I thought why not go with him and keep him company um, and also the first class ticket was only £3 more than the standard ticket so we're also going first class which I'm pretty excited about because I've never been first class before on a train or anything I think so very excited about that but it's quarter past uh, it's quarter past seven now and they'll be here at 20 past. Mum is picking us up and taking us to the station. Then we need to collect our tickets. And we're going from Swindon to Paddington. Paddington to St Pancras. And then St Pancras to um, Westfield. And then Westfield to Featherhead. So we've got like a four hour train journey. With like three changes. Which is exciting. Um, I haven't travelled around London without a mobility device in a long time. So... Yeah, I did put my I did put my joint supports on and on my knees um, because they did feel a little bit fresh this morning and also have my compression socks on too for my heart so fingers crossed I can do the journey I mean most of it's sitting down on a train and I can get up and stretch out if I need to so it's not a huge issue the biggest deal is going to be once we get to London um, and going from St Pancras uh, going from Paddington to St Pancras so we'll see how like We'll see how that goes, but yeah, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna film because obviously I'm gonna be with my dad and I don't think he'd want me to film him. I'm in first class and I feel very fancy. 
we are just about to arrive in London and then we're going to hop on the tube and head to Pan St Pancras. But yeah, we're pretty much alone in here. Not too shabby. Nice little table. We've got some nice plugs down here as well. Very nice. Where's the McDonald's? That's the question. 9.33. There it is. Platform. They've not said what platform yet. Wakefield Westgate, 11.31. It says it's on time, but they've not put platform yet. Yeah? Let's have some brekkie. Hello guys, so it's Friday morning um, I'm probably going to edit this video today and upload it for Monday um, because yeah not much is going on at the weekend. Josh is going to London tomorrow with his friend and I am just having a chill day at home by myself um, and then Sunday we literally are just seeing a friend for breakfast and then going to church. So, so yeah yesterday was so much fun, I gave you some clips of it. Um, but yeah, it was really fun. I had such a good day. The trip home actually ended up taking about five and a half hours just because of traffic. And yeah, it was a long journey. And I, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I've actually booked um, us to go on holiday up in the north. Um, we're actually going up to like Middlesbrough and around the York area. Um, so I'm really excited about that. However, that was where dad and I went yesterday and the drive back was extremely long so I'm really glad we've booked seven nights and I'm gonna have like a Monday and a Monday to travel down and back home again um, so that if it does end up being a super long drive it's not gonna feel like we're wasting our holiday so yeah but we've actually booked an Airbnb which I'm super excited about um, and yeah, I'm just so excited to be going on holiday. We're going in September. I will be vlogging it, so I will be putting it up on my channel because we're going to be doing lots of stuff, so I'm not going to miss out on filming that, um, especially because I love looking back at the videos. I've actually made a playlist on my channel of videos with Josh. I'll link it up here if you're interested. Um, but yeah, I just love watching back our videos so, so much. Like, they make me so happy. Um, so yeah, I've made like a playlist of them all, mainly for myself, so that I can go in and watch them all. But if any of you guys love watching my videos with Josh as well, then I have got a playlist called Videos with Josh, so check that out. Um, but yeah, I feel really good today. Um, I managed really well yesterday actually. The car that my parents bought was super comfy, so I really enjoyed like the journey. I didn't feel uncomfortable. We stopped like three or four times just for the bathroom and for dad to stretch his legs out and stuff. Um, but yeah, it was a really good journey and I liked the height of it. So that was great. Um, I'm t I think that I have been looking at Kia Sportage because that's the car they've brought. I have been looking at the Kia Sportage because it's a really good height. It's like a mini SUV. Um, and a lot of people with EDS have said that their SUV cars have been lifesavers because they're high up and they're super comfy. So I have been looking at the Kia Sportage, so it's super random that my dad has just bought one. Super random. Um, but yeah, it was nice to go up there and like see it and then drive back in it and get a get an idea for the comfort of it and how easy it was to get in and out. Um, so yeah, that was really awesome. And it was way better than I expected it to be, so probably we'll end up buying one as well we'll see but yes we won't be buying one for a while because obviously my car is totally fine and josh can't drive yet so we don't need two cars um but whenever josh does his, get his license and we start a family um having two cars will be super helpful especially for josh if he wants to change his job and work close by um 
or work on the outskirts of London or something like that, he can drive and take the car and I can have another car when I'm staying at home. So yeah, that's kind of a little update. Um, health wise, um, I am planning on doing like a 30 day thing with Josh, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, so I'm not going to say too much, but I basically have swapped from keto, to, from carnivore to keto. Um, and I feel much, much better. Um, I'm not having like things like pepper or onions or anything that is like known as a nightshade because they can cause joint inflammation. So I'm not having those at all. Um, and I feel really good. I feel really good digestively. I feel great. Um, joint wise, I feel great. Um, I was able to do the whole day yesterday totally fine. And that included sitting on trains and walking around tube stations, getting on and off tubes. Um, yeah, I would not have been able to do that a few months ago. So really encouraging and I feel really good. So that's great. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much me done. So I don't know how this video is going to be. I don't know if it's going to be like a decent length or not, but I really hope you enjoyed it either way. Just some little snippets. Um, and I'll see you in another video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to see more from me. And thank you so much to all of you guys who do support me. I really appreciate it. I love being sent videos of people watching my videos. And yeah, I just, I love to see it. It makes me very encouraged. So if you do that, thank you so much. It does really mean a lot to me. And if you've pressed that subscribe button, it also means a huge amount to me. So I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you soon. Bye.